One of the greatest medical advancements in the past 20 years that you may not have heard of is something called monoclonal antibodies or biologics. These are lab-grown antibodies, essentially protein tags that are specifically designed to target a very finite portion of your immune system, and they are used in all sorts of different aspects in medicine, from autoimmune diseases, cancer, and allergic diseases as well, including severe asthma, which I have a picture of what some of these medications do in the specific parts of the immune system. And since somebody asked that they wanted me to talk about biologics and explaining them related to asthma, I'm gonna go over a couple of these different options. The analogy that I wanna to use to explain monoclonal antibodies is kind of like a lock and a key. The medication itself is the key. It's very specific for finding its target, which is the lock. And that lock in the sense for different medications may be a receptor, which is essentially this protein that sits on the cell surface, or it could be a signaling molecule or another antibody that's floating around in your bloodstream. When thinking about severe asthma, there are multiple cells of the immune system active that creates inflammation that leads to mucus plugging the airways, the muscles surrounding the airways tighten to make the airways smaller, and that causes difficulty breathing, wheezing, coughing, or chest tightness, and that can in some cases be potentially life-threatening. There are different pathways where these immune cells can become active that we can target, whether it's kind of this allergic asthma pathway where there are these IgE antibodies that are around. There's also white blood cells of your immune system called eosinophils that can cause inflammation. And there may be some other cells like neutrophils that can cause inflammation as well. In these red boxes, there's these different names of medications. You can see the end of them, they all end in MAB or MAB to shorthand for monoclonal antibody. And these medications have very specific targets like reslizumab and mepolizumab target interleukin-5 or IL-5, that is a signaling molecule between white blood cells that often promote the inflammation caused by eosinophils. These, these white blood cells move towards a site, they cause inflammation that can lead to the symptoms of asthma. There's also dupilumab here, which targets IL-4 receptor alpha. That is the kind of gate towards these different signaling molecules, specifically for something called IL-4 and IL-13, that when this is blocked, can also decrease that eosinophilic inflammation as well. Omalizumab is one that targets the allergy antibodies called IgE, which helps prevent them from activating mast cells, which is a part of your immune system, mostly that allergic inflammation. And then there's something called tezepelumab, which targets thymic stromal lymphopoietin, or TSLP, which kind of sits more at the top of this inflammation that targets both eosinophilic and allergic inflammation. We are really fortunate that we have multiple targets to treat severe asthma, but this is true for many other chronic diseases now as the world of biologics have exploded. And so if you are struggling with a chronic disease and you've tried multiple medications, you might want to talk with your doctor to learn more about this class of medication.